Palomares, the weekly gymnastics class for seniors, is where the older generation meets up. Many of them experienced the crash of the American B-52 bomber almost 50 years ago, but no longer want to talk about it. They say that ever since the incident, their village has been wrongly cast in a bad light. In Palomares, people are full of energy and love to dance. They've eaten lots of healthy fruit because agriculture has always flourished here. The sun shines and we have wonderful beaches. People should come here to enjoy our region, not to criticize the thing with the bombs because that scares tourists away. But for many villagers, there's no getting away from the past. Every day, Maria Flores passes by the restricted area. Here, in the middle of the village, the soil is contaminated with plutonium. Residents have been waiting for years for the site to be cleaned up. Now 83, Flores was pregnant back in January of 1966. That was when a US B-52 bomber collided with an aerial refueling tanker and crashed over Palomares. What an explosion. I thought everything was going up in flames and that we'd all be burned alive. I ran over here and collapsed in fear. I was dizzy with fear. I was half dead. I thought, it's the end of the world, it's all over. Ave Maria. The fishing village and most of Andalusia narrowly avoided a major nuclear disaster. The B-52's four hydrogen bombs didn't detonate, but two of the weapons scattered highly radioactive plutonium when they hit the ground. The environmentalist Marcos Diegues believes the handling of this nuclear incident, one of the most serious of the Cold War, is scandalous. He says both the Americans and the Spanish government downplayed the danger and hoped the accident would soon be forgotten. But recent measurements at the crash site show at least a half a kilo of plutonium is still irradiating the soil. That's more than in the area around Chernobyl, the site of the 1986 nuclear disaster. But until now, there's only one thing here keeping people out, a chain link fence. Environmental activists have filed an official complaint against the authorities in charge. Our complaint is that they've left Europe's biggest nuclear graveyard exposed for five decades and until just a few years ago without any monitoring at all. It was open to anyone. These areas were used as farmland, as grazing land and water reservoirs for farming were built here, even though they knew the soil was contaminated. To this day, vegetables are grown next to the restricted area. Agriculture remains the region's most important source of income. But it's not just the peppers and snow peas that are regularly tested for radioactivity. This farmer herself travels to Madrid once a year to undergo medical tests. But Maria Sabiote is no longer afraid of the routine checkup. She has faith in the statistics which, so far, don't indicate an elevated risk of cancer. We haven't had any babies born with deformities or other problems. There's cancer here, just like in other places. But that's a problem around the world. It's market day in Palomares. Word has spread that thousands of tons of contaminated soil will be dug up and shipped to the US. Some locals are skeptical, others are angry. They wanted to take the soil right away, but 50 years later, it's still here. Now they want to stir everything up again. My husband and I don't think much of that. Many here are against it. But Marcos Diegues says that further delays will only increase the danger. He believes that some of the contaminated soil has already been washed into the sea by the rain and wind. 
Some studies found that radioactivity in this part of the Mediterranean is 20 times higher than average. That suggests a significant amount of plutonium is already in the sea. We need to do more research on this too. Cleaning up the designated zones isn't enough. We need to know if more has been contaminated. But few here are interested in discovering the truth. The fishermen and farmers would rather it be swept under the carpet. And so would the tourism industry. These holiday homes were built close to the contaminated area. It's unlikely that the buyers were told about the radioactive soil on their doorstep.